Hey everyone, this is Andres. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm here to do an activity with you. Um, so what we're going to do today is we are going to play with bubbles. Um, and what we'll need for that is we're going to need a cup of water and some soap. Great. So actually there's one more thing we'll need. We're going to need a straw. Um, so I have a straw here and it's a reusable straw, right? So if you don't have like a reusable straw or um, like a leftover straw from a juice box or like some fast food, um, we're gonna have to like find a solution to making a straw, right? So, um, so how are we gonna do this? So like a straw, you know, it's got this like circular tube so it's like a circle on one end and it's long and skinny um, and it needs to go in water. So um, let's see, how, what can we use? Um, so look around, you might have something that you can use. Um, I have two suggestions for how we can do a straw without actually having a straw. So let me grab that stuff real quick. All right, so I have this magazine. Um, and we're going to find a page from here to turn into a straw. Um, and the sort of the glossiness, the shininess of the paper is really going to help. Um, ooh, let's do this puppy. Um, and I'm just going to rip it out. And using this side, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to roll this out, starting with the edge that I ripped. Come on. You just start with a little roll, and you just keep going and going and going and going. Okay, so now we have a straw. Um, and to keep it from sort of unraveling into a, into a flat paper again, um, if you have tape, you could certainly like put a little piece of tape here and there. Um, I don't have tape, so I'm gonna use this which I found, you know, I saved it from my, my bread bag, you know, is where I had my sliced bread and this was a thing that twisted it all closed. And I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna twist it around this straw and that is it and that'll keep it from unrolling. Okay, so this is totally an option. Um, another option is pens. Um, pens are really fun to take apart, so Let's see if this will work for us. So this one happens to be like a twisty one. We have all these parts inside. We have a spring, that's cool. But what I want is I want the tube. This tube is kind of gonna, it's gonna be a straw. Um, so this is another option. I'm gonna put this stuff aside. We have these kind of pens. Um, these kind of pens come apart. You know, they don't twist off, but with a little help, you can sort of pinch off the top part that has all the writing parts. And then they have a cap, which you might need to kind of like bite a little bit to loosen up. But then here's what you can do. You can use the inside of this one, put it in there, and then you push down and it comes out. Great. So now we have a couple different straw options. And then with our original straw, we are all set to go. I ended up putting this on a plate. Um, you're gonna see why in a second. So I think we're good to go. So I have my soap, and I'm gonna put some soap in this cup that has a little bit of water. Um, and you won't need a lot. You'll do like, let's do like three drops, just like that. And we're gonna grab our magazine straw. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna blow some bubbles. I'm just gonna keep going. <gasps> All right, that's some bubbles. Yeah, so, I mean, we're gonna look at these bubbles. Like, let's check them out. 
Pretty cool. You can see there's like a lot of bubbles that are coming together. And when bubbles come together, they kind of start kind of like pressing against each other, right? It's kind of cool. You can see a little bit of like the, like the little rainbowiness. That's cool. And there's popping. So like I can touch one of these and pop it and the bubbles just sort of like, they readjust. They kind of like get into a new formation. That's also super cool. Um, but in a minute, we're gonna draw some of these bubbles. But for now, like, you can spend as much time just looking at these. Like, bubbles are cool. So just, you know, try to get a sense for them. They're popping. If I touch them, they pop. I think if I'm breathing on them, they kind of pop too. <sighs> Jiggle. Boop. Super cool. Super cool. Okay. Um, now you can see why we need the plate. Pop. All right. So before we draw this, um, let's think about bubbles, right? Like, if I were gonna ask you to draw bubbles, you'd probably like draw a bunch of circles, right? Like circle, 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 all in a big pile, which, um, yeah. Well, let's like observe the bubbles and see if like, that's actually how the bubbles are. Cause sometimes the things that we draw don't always look like they do in real life. You know, like sometimes the things that we think in our head things look like, they actually look different, right? So bubbles might look differently. So let's like use our artistic eye and like look at these bubbles carefully. I'm going, the great thing about this is we're just gonna blow some more bubbles. So I'm gonna grab a straw, make some more bubbles. So, here, I'm gonna look carefully and see what my bubbles look like. So what I'm noticing, I'm noticing that the outside is definitely, they're curved, right? If I was gonna draw it, it would be a curved line, kinda boop, 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 boop. But if I look inside the bubbles, I'm not seeing curved lines. I'm actually seeing a lot of straight lines. Right? Like there's kind of like where the bubbles meet, there's a lot of straight lines. Um, so that's an interesting thing to keep an eye on. Let's like, let's go to a pen and paper and see if we can draw a pile of bubbles. All right, let me get these out of the way. We have some paper and pencil. Let's try drawing some bubbles. All right, so. We're gonna do curved lines. So we're gonna start in one point and kind of just curve that way, right? And that's like the top of one bubble and then we'll do another one. And that's another bubble. And here, let me do a little bubble over here and then maybe another one there. And we'll go back here, bubble, bubble. So it's kind of looking like a cloud, right? Which is kind of cool, um, but if you remember, there was like, there was bubbles behind the bubbles, there was bubbles in front of the bubbles. I'm just saying bubbles a lot. Okay, let's draw some bubbles in the back, kind of back here. Maybe there's like a couple little bubbles. Some bubbles are in front of it, right? So we're gonna draw some bubbles like there, maybe like there. And then we're gonna, Think about those straight lines that we saw, right? So those straight lines happened where the bubbles met. So where they meet, we're gonna just take that and we're gonna go in like that. And we're gonna go here and we're gonna go bam. Boom. Shazam. Okay. And now we're gonna make little Y's, right? Like the letter Y, we're just gonna go from that down. We're gonna go boop, boop. 
All right, we're just gonna make little, little bits here and there. You know, these little bubbles also had little arms. This bubble, like don't even think about it, just sort of start drawing your little lines. And then, you know, like your little, your, your Y's, those areas where bubbles connected, those can connect to other bubbles, right? So there's a little bit of that going on. I'll do some more Y's off of the Y's. And then, how's that looking? It's looking kind of crazy. Um, kind of like a network, right? Like a network of bubbles. But I want to put something that I was paying attention to, and maybe you were too, which is the cup, right? The opening of the cup where all the bubbles came out of. So, to make like that opening, if you're looking straight down on it, it's a circle. But if you start looking at it from the side, it's kind of more of an oval. And we draw an oval by sort of drawing kind of like the tops of our bubbles. But then what we do is we do the opposite on the bottom and we go like this. It's actually almost like an eyeball, right? Like you could draw an eyeball in there. But we're not gonna draw an eyeball because this is a cup. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start at this end. And I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna go down. How's that looking? Like a cup full of bubbles. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna draw some more bubbles. Maybe there's some bubbles coming down the side. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, I'm gonna draw some bubbles inside the cup. How's that looking? Not bad, right? Hope yours is looking good. Hope you like it. Just gonna add a little bit. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like that's pretty good, so... I'm gonna say... I'm gonna sign it down here. Um, mm, look at that. I'm an artist. A mm, little more. Great. So that was fun. Um, so feel free to do some more of those. Draw some bubbles. Um, try to get, like... Maybe focus on one bubble as opposed to all the bubbles, and you can like zoom in on that one bubble. Just like zoom in on it and see what it looks like. Or if you have colored pencils or crayons, you could start like coloring in the like the shininess of it, the rainbow that you see sort of on the bubbles. That could be cool. Okay, well, there's one last thing that I wanna show you before we get going. So we're gonna go look at the bubbles again. So here we are again with the bubbles, and I want to take a moment and kind of imagine what it would be like if we could be the size of bubbles, or if bubbles could be the size of us, right? Like what if we were this big, and we could admire the bubbles up close, right? We can kind of hang out around the bubbles, maybe touch a bubble, and really get to see the detail and the beauty of those bubbles a lot closer. And I wanna show you some artists who kind of do that with their art. I wanna introduce you to two artists and they both do work that are sculptures that are like the size of a room. Um, this first one is Tara Donovan and she's an American artist who does a lot of work with like a lot of pieces of a thing, right? So she might do a work that has like a million straws or a million styrofoam cups or any number of sort of like a lot of one thing over and over and over again. So this piece, which you can see kind of looks like bubbles kind of billowing out into the room, um, is made out of rolling up a bunch of like shiny paper, you know, and like, you know how we made the straw? Like if you made the straw and you made one end in a little bigger, kind of like an ice cream cone, that's what these are. These are just like a bunch of cones that then get connected to make these balls. And then they get connected and you could see them like at art galleries and art museums. And it's really cool to be inside and look around and look at all the detail. 
The other artist I want to show you, his name is Tomas Saraceno. He's from Argentina and his work, as you can see, is um, also big. It takes up a whole room and these sculptures are kind of inspired by spider webs and also I can kind of see like an inspiration of kind of bubbles, right? Because you can see those lines, like those Y's where these shapes connect are very similar to the lines that we found inside our bubbles, right? That structure, that sort of like those lines connecting each other, that is, is very similar um, to this work. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and maybe it got you thinking about how we can make art and find really interesting things in the world from things that we have at home.